A common task in Ubuntu Linux server administration involves adding users, adding groups, and modifying user credentials, including their passwords and uh, which groups they are affiliated with. Thankfully, in Ubuntu server, adding users is quite simple. We will need root privileges, so we'll issue sudo and then add user and then the name of the user that we would like to add. After this, we'll be asked to supply a password and just like when we're logging in, you won't see any sort of feedback here. Uh, no asterisks or anything like that, but it is receiving your input and it will ask you to retype it to make sure that um, the password is correct, of course. And some more information here, you can put in a full name, room number, work phone, home phone, other, and uh, then verify by typing Y. Yes, this information is correct and hitting enter. Now we've just successfully added the user test one. That's how simple it is to add a user in Ubuntu server. Adding a group is uh, quite similar. sudo add group and then the name of the group, which in this case is going to be test group. And you're all done. You've added a group. Now, uh, as far as why you would want groups on your system, uh, it is a very easy and convenient way to uh, both keep everything organized and to uh, set permissions and privileges. So you can set up groups that have particular levels of permissions and particular access to the server. They can do certain things on the server. And then if you're adding a new user and uh, and, and they're going to have the same permissions as, as a, a user that's already on the system, it's much easier to simply add them to a group and uh, let the permissions be tied to the group so that you're not having to redo your permissions with every single user that you're adding to the system. So uh, that's really the, the practicality of having groups on uh, your Ubuntu server. Now, we can uh, list our current groups by issuing the groups command, which we don't need root privileges for because we're not changing anything. We're simply uh, taking a peek at what groups the current user is, uh, is a part of. So here I'm logged in as Cody, and so you can see by typing groups, it shows me all the groups that the Cody user account is a part of. I, I, uh, I'm making a big deal about this because some people think that issuing groups shows you all the groups on the server, and it does not. It shows you the groups that the current user is a part of. And if we go to the manual for groups, we see that very clearly at the top. Print the groups a user is in. Okay, so you're printing uh, the group membership for the current user, or uh, you can specify uh, a user. So if if we want to see what group, uh, what groups test one is a part of, then we can issue groups test one, and you can now we're seeing the groups that test one, which is the user that I just added, is a part of. Now, uh, if you don't want to see groups for specific users, but if you want to see all the groups on a system, it's very easy, simply cat, etc., group. Okay, singular. Cat, etc., group, not groups, but group. And then here you can see all of the groups on the system. So uh, we know how to add users, we know how to add groups, we know how to see what groups any given user is a part of, as well as see all groups on the system. How would we go about seeing all users that are on the system? Similar process, cat, etc. pass wd. By issuing this command, and, and there's a little bit more information here, um, than, than you need per se if you're just trying to list the users. But um, that first bit of data there, starting at the bottom, test1 is a user, quest1 is a user, Cody is a user, color D is a user, okay? 
all of these are users. And there's other information here as well. The only one that I'll, I'll take the time to mention now is there at the end, at the very end of each username, uh, you'll see, at least for most of them, it's going to say Ben Bash. And what that is saying is that um, uh, that is the default shell that will be used for that user account. And you can actually change Bash is not the only shell available for Ubuntu server. Uh, it's probably the most popular one, and it's the one that we're covering in this, um, in this uh, tutorial series. We won't cover any other shells. But here is a, actually you, you could modify this file and you could change from bin bash, which is just the location of, of bash in the bin directory. Uh, you could change it from bin bash to some other type of shell there. But for our purposes now, we're using it to simply list the users. Let's go ahead and wrap things up here, and in a follow-up video, I'll share more with you about changing passwords, deleting users, deleting groups, modifying users, modifying groups, and how all of that works.